<laughs> what is up guys welcome back to the channel good morning we have just awoken this is where we are we are currently in nice i'm saying we i'm actually here with my coach josh who will make a very sleepy appearance in a moment we got here yesterday we were up at 3 a.m we were a little bit sleep deprived my whoop is currently saying my body temperature is highly elevated and today that was my alarm. I told you I never <laughs> need the bloody alarm. So the plan was to wake up at 7. Woke up at 5.57. Um, trailer thought ruined. Plan for today. Oh yeah. Guys, the plan for today, Josh and I are actually going to do a bike recce of the World Championship Ironman bike course, which is bloody terrifying, but at the same time, it's so exciting that we are in Nice to do this. Like, what the heck? As it stands, we are 43 days from the Ironman Worlds. Six weeks today. Six weeks today. Today. So, so yeah, I'm really not gonna give you the tour right now of our place because it's just every single sign is screaming triathlete. And the sleepy Josh. And the sleepy Josh. Morning. <laughs> if you wondered why there's like 500 bananas, it's because Josh eats seven a day. <laughs> Breakfast is going to consist of... We don't have that many things, but we did go for a little food shop yesterday. Granola. We have already started on that. Biscoff. I'll have a banana. We have some yoghurt. In fact, I'm now going to stand you up on this. That, that, that. Guys, I know it's only seven, but I'm already looking forward to this white magnum after. I'm basically going to just put all, all these ingredients in one bowl, and this is a uh, breakfast of the gods. You're overflowing. I know. Is it? Is it spilling? I mean, there's a bit of flowing this side. Oh yeah, a little bit. Cheers to breakfast and Josh massaging his legs. Freshly shaven legs. He did just shave one leg for the Aero Games. <laughs> um, he hasn't yet got to the other one. Fresh. Guys, one thing about today is everything is actually gonna be fine. Fine. Because, where's the main bit of climbing? Mostly in the first 50k yeah. um, of the bike course. We're kind of chilling, then we're climbing. Then we're rolling. Okay, then we're rolling. Then we're starting to descend. Then we're descending. Yeah. Okay, so the way I'm seeing it is that after 50k, it's in the bag. Yeah, 90% of the yeah. elevation is yeah. ticked off. Yeah. And I did the tap. Yeah, it's half that elevation. Probably. Yeah. But I'm not going to lie guys, it's bloody boiling. Like, uh, you know when I said it was 24 degrees, it's actually now 20... Seven. Every minute it goes up, it could be 28 right now. It could be literally, yeah. <laughs> it's going to be bloody hot, but we'll be fine. Yeah, and race day could be just as hot. Although the likelihood of it being this hot is unlikely. Like, it, this is probably going to be hotter than... This is peak, yeah. So if we can do today, we can do it again in a month. Now, we hydrate. Are we drunk enough? No, yeah. <laughs> Guys, the main thing is literally the uh, the heat today. We just need a nice outfit. Because if you look good, you feel good. Okay, do we go Le Col or do we go Rafa? This is like very netty. It's probably going to be cooler, I think. And then I think... I'm gonna wear the official Tour de France Santini bottoms because I climbed the tap in this, so I feel it's gonna give me extra confidence wearing this again because I know what I did when I last wore this. That yellow sports bra, which ties in the yellow helmet, Oakley's. I don't know whether to wear super thin socks so that my feet don't overheat or a bit thicker to prevent the blister situation. I do have a couple of blisters. Every single time I go into the kitchen, it just feels warmer and warmer. <laughs> I think I am going, I'm going Lacole because we need as little clothing as possible, basically. I'm also gonna absolutely smother myself in cream. Um, 
Yeah, I think I'm gonna wear just this this light one. Uh, it feels really tight with my biceps. <laughs> and it's not even like me trying to flex, do you know what I mean? <sighs> it's just a little bit tight, but I think better than um like thicker. But my main thing that I don't know what to do is what socks to wear. Because I can wear super thin socks, which will like mean my feet don't get as hot, but then because they're super thin, I feel it more. more. Yeah. What um, do you reckon? Thicker socks, but like I said, have the bows a bit looser. That's the biggest decision of the day. Uh, Oops. Guys, this is my nutrition that I'll be taking. So I've got some like precision gels, water solid bar, love these, some carb chews. So that's everything I'm gonna take, but we will stop to like refill bottles and to get something to eat. Then <laughs> this is Josh's nutrition. The reason I'm laughing is just because obviously for me, this is gonna be way harder than it is for Josh. So obviously I need more carbs because it's like more effort. He's gonna be chilling. <laughs> I've got that, I've got some carbs in the bottle. So I'm, oh yeah, of course. I'm trying to take about 40 an hour. Yeah. And Steph, we're gonna aim for you 70 to 80. 70 to 80 an hour. Understood, coach. Understood. <laughs> As you can see, Josh is in charge of pumping the tires. I am just here to ride the bike. <laughs> Also, I bought the Alphafly 3s and oh my goodness, I've only run in these twice, but I love them. And I can say I was heavily influenced by Josh's. Wow, my looks so bright compared to yours. Okay, these are our, are our final outfits of the day. Um, yeah, <laughs> I'll get my leg out high. Yeah, we're oh, yeah. yeah I'll, I'll do it for Josh, we're Thanks. cyclists. We're gonna smash it. We're gonna smash it. We're gonna smash it. Let's go. <laughs> for dear life but Josh is leading the way it's an absolutely beautiful day <laughs> that was a speed bump yep <laughs> but uh, feeling good I mean you would considering we're 11k in and we've got 169k to go let's go so this is the last bit of fun before the main climb begins that's why I'm getting my GoPro out now because it's going straight back in my pocket. <laughs> Eleven point five percent. We just hit there. What have you got to say, Seth? How are you feeling? Guys, it got punchy real quick. Like, we were chilling and then the climb started. I just have to keep my mind focused because I just don't want to panic, you know? We'll get through it. However, not easily, not easily. It's been tough, there's tough sections, but you get a few, a few flats to chill. Yeah, you do. It's not relentless. Right, we're in it now. We're on the main climb, stunning views. Steph's doing well. Hang in there. It's not too bad, is it? I mean, we've only just begun it, right? Yeah, I mean. That was a tease. We, we did a lot of descending and it was a lot of fun. Yeah. We've learned that we need to do more pedaling on the flat and descents in between because we've both got slightly dead legs yeah. from the first little climb. <laughs> We're moving. Well, I'm not thriving yet. I'm just about surviving, but <laughs> soon. Soon. Okay, situation is 2 hours 45, nearly 55k in. We have officially stopped. First aid station. Yeah, they're providing us with <laughs> oasis today. Just a second. 
I can confirm. Now I'm starting to realise, like, Le Tap was just a, a bike race. Yeah. This is part of the Iron Man. <laughs> that has started to dawn on me, but I just keep reminding myself that once we get to the top, we're, we're, we're literally descending. Yeah, yeah, we're not far away. So, so we're like, top. we're like, what, 5k? 5, 10k tops. About 5k. 5, 5 10. It's like about make, 5k. 5k. 5k ish more of climbing. But it's it's pretty tough. Like it's not it's not like a gentle climb. It's still a bit of a slog. No, it's like five, six percent average. Mm. This is gonna help me. So I just have to keep reminding myself that like once I've done it once, the second time. Tomorrow. <laughs> tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, and I never mentioned that. We're doing the climb and the descent again tomorrow. Just to make the most of it given we are in Nice. Josh, how are you feeling? Yeah, good, I'm enjoying it. Yeah, Goodbye. you're nice and fresh. Yeah, I'm feeling really good. Yeah. This is the contrast. How many years of experience? Oh, like seven years. So okay. I, yeah, I've seven got about years. six years on you. Yeah, so there's Josh as fresh as a daisy and then there's me. <laughs> Josh, how far are we in? Almost 60k in, over half the climbing done. Um, almost at the top, you can see the crest of the uh, climb now. Guys, it's so hot. I've been cycling for three hours now. My face is just dripping in sweat and cream. I keep just thinking about how hard like the Olympians have had to push today in their marathons. And that's kind of like spurring me on to do this because, well, I mean, hard is all relative, but they're gonna be severely uncomfortable for a couple of hours. So if they can do that, I can do this. Just trying to yeah. take inspiration from everything I can. Can we, uh, <laughs> can we just have a moment for uh, Steph vlogging going uphill? Who is she? <laughs> Who is she? I'm a new woman. Yeah. This is draining the life out of me. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you at the top, okay? Before we descend, I'll pick the camera back up. Yeah. We made it. There it is, the top. This is what heaven looks like. <laughs> Let's go. 80k down, 100 to go. It's kind of petrifying that there's 100k to go. Yeah, that's going to be a fast second 90. I don't think there's anything else for me to report, if I'm honest. It feels about 45 degrees. Do you have the temperature? No, not on here. Guys, just no. assume it's 50. Yeah, what's that say? 243. Josh is just reapplying cream. Be safe, kids. It smells so good. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> um, we've just stopped. We didn't really want to sit down, but there's no um, there's no ice, ice cream to, like, on the go. Like a magnum. <laughs> <There's>, <laughs> that's what we wanted. We've got eight in the freezer, but yeah, I know, we just wanted yeah. another one. We've tried to figure out what this means and we've gone for um strawberry and vanilla and vanilla a coke and fres yeah <laughs> our uh, french is really lacking yeah it's a bit yeah. je ne sais pas <laughs> <laughs> so i'll be honest guys we're 110 kilometers in and it's not a bonk but it's like no we're just, just we're pretty dehydrated this is a really hot day yeah we got a bit dehydrated yesterday it's yeah i think energy is just a bit low and I, i'm not used to that which is why it then make, makes me worry you're doubting yourself. Exactly, and I don't want that. No. We, we're okay, we, we are okay, but I just want them to know that after doing the tap, it doesn't make the niece no. course feel no. any easier. Because no. I think that's what I came into this thinking, but actually it's gonna be bloody hard. Yeah, we've done this in the hardest possible conditions. Yeah, So dehydration, lack of sleep, Fatigued, no taper. No taper. Hard session yesterday. Hotter than it's gonna be in September. A lot hotter. So actually it is better. Like I do I do prefer that. I yeah. wouldn't want today to feel easier than No, for sure. You know? So yeah. What is it gonna be? Fine. <laughs> Do you know how good it's going to taste to eat something like salty oh, later? Because yeah, right. all we've had is just sweet, 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 yeah, sweet. Yeah, we're not having a yogurt bowl again. <laughs> no, we're not. <laughs>
Are you having fun on the downhill so far, Steph? The downhills are a lot of fun. We're 150k in. We're halfway down the descent, so another 20-ish k. It's almost worth climbing just to descend. I know, and it's almost worth it for these views. We did a bit more than the route, but I can confirm we've done it. Did it. We bloody did it. 185.2k, 22.4 kilometers an hour. Save. New record, furthest distance. Oh, sick. 2k longer than uh, Barcelona nice. Ironman. Love it. <laughs> Guys, my hands are killing me, but also Josh's too, because yeah. we didn't wear gloves and it's it's a lot of pressure on the yeah. on that bit. <laughs> yeah. And my feet blisters from hell, but it's okay. It's okay because we accomplished what we, we set out to accomplish. The distance. We know there's more in the tank. Yeah. Like, we've battled heat, blisters, sore hands, dehydration. <laughs> but there's more to come and we did it. It's amazing. Yeah. Super happy. Wow, it's 5.55. <laughs> to did think, it? yeah, to think we that we go. left. We didn't leave till after half eight though. I yeah. We went. But with the... 7.59. Yeah, we had to do like out and back, which, uh, which made it 185k. Yeah, so we did a little bit more than what we needed to do. I mean, today's time is not like what I'll do on the day. No, we weren't going like race pace. No. It's like a hard effort, but there's lots more to go right and you're going to be tapered. Yeah. Oh my God, taking off bike shoes has never felt so good, ever. Oh my God. I kind of don't want to take my socks off. No. Do you reckon it's going to be bad? I mean, I reckon it's going to be bad. Your little toes through socks. <gasps> They're coming out. I mean, it's a good and a bad thing that I haven't been talking about having tied legs. I've just been talking about my bruised palms and then my blistered. Oh gosh. I just feel like, oh my God. Yeah, there's a blister there. Oh yeah, shit. You can see where you're on, like all your other toes are a bit like pushed in the front of your shoes. I've also got a blister there. Yeah, that's, your shoes are like, Oh shit, I've even got blisters inside the toes. Yeah, I think your shoes are a size too small when they're too narrow. I have never smelt my feet stink this badly in my life. I'll take your word for it. Guys, it's like, I'm expecting like fumes to like <laughs> rise from them. They bloody stink. Um, yeah, I might just put my feet in cold water. Yeah, yeah. Because, guys, you know we're triathletes and that. We are going to do a run off the bike. We are doing a brick run. Yeah. We are doing a brick run. The thing is, I already felt my toes in pain today when I put my shoes on because of yesterday. Yeah. The conditions are just suboptimal today. Yeah. Yeah, Even to begin with. We've learned anything, we've learned Stephanie's bigger bike shoes. <laughs> I actually really love these shoes. I mean, I could get a size bigger. You could try They're a size bigger, six. And I think you could probably do with a wide fit. And a wide fit isn't a bad thing, it means you've got good foot structure. Like, it means I've got fat feet. No, it doesn't mean you've got fat feet at all. <laughs> guys, we should strive for wide feet. Wide feet, okay. I'll have a look, but otherwise, if, if you guys are any triathletes out there, um, let me know any recommendations. I don't know if I did mention at the start of this video um, that I would really, really appreciate if you just scroll down a little bit on this video and then hit the thumbs up. It does help me out massively. And the last time I like banged on about you guys thumbs upping the video, you all listened. So I'm very grateful that you listen and you thumbs up the video. So thanks again, because I know you won't let me down. And for every thumbs up, that's an extra second you're gonna go faster. What Josh said, <laughs> every thumbs up equals one second faster. Just refueling like the true athletes that we are. Absolutely. Oh no, don't waste it. Guys, I actually thought though, that after five minute rule, that after all the sweets that we've consumed, like gels, chews, bars, you'd want something salty, but mm. still like a magnum. Right, right. I better not get a stitch when I run though, because it's going to be very close. We're eating this and running like five. Nah, you're a triathlete. Bulletproof. I can't eat at roast dinner and go run after. I do consume a lot between, mm. but this is very close. I think I ate everything I, I took. Maybe minus one um, gel. Well, you had the ice cream to make up for that, so that's fine. Yeah. 
So that, how many carbs was that? Was 300 grams of carbs. Oh, so I've consumed 300. We do what we have to do. Big run, 12 blisters and counting. But we're okay, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. We're doing the Ironman World Championship course. Hashtag grateful, hashtag blessed. I sound sarcastic, but genuinely. Hashtag blisters. <laughs> I know I sound sarcastic, but genuinely. I am speechless. What a place. Yeah. What a place. 10k, 506 pace. That's so much for the build. Do you know what? I'm going to give that a 8 out of 10 hard. Like, it's I hard though to... to 9 understand. out of 10 mentally, not, for, not like physically. Yeah, so what should I give it? I'd give it a 9 out of 10 mentally hard. 5 out of 10 physically, 5-6. Yeah, I'll give it a six, but like, it's still tough, like it was hard. How did you feel? I'm gonna literally do the worst one. Very weak. <laughs> Very weak. Guys, the body achieves what the mind believes, and today I wasn't believing. Like three k in, I was kind of tapping out mentally. I was tapping out. But we were never gonna die. No, I'm glad. I'm glad we carried on. Although, like, I was actually thinking, I was like, what if we just stop? But there we go. Oh, my status is maintaining. Oh. It's been productive for like three weeks in a row. You shouldn't be productive in all our man training. Yeah, true. Oh, can't wait to you have want, a shower. Do you want Coke Zero or do you want more of this? I think I want more juice. Yeah. Can't wait to have a shower and wash my hair. It's so disgusting that like whatever way I form it, it will stay. Oh man. Okay, guys. Okay. Wow. That was today's training. That was a 185k bike and a 10k run off a bike. And a whole lot of suffering. But with suffering comes... Growth. Growth. Resilience. We're done. We're both done. As you know, usually I can give a good yeah. speech. I can usually give a good TED talk, but... So we had a quick shower. I actually feel fresher. We are on our way, however, to consume some burgers. And it feels Bloody boiling. Still so it's because we had like, the aircon so in the in the Airbnb that like well now that we've come out oh left, yeah, left. <laughs> now that we've come out it's boiling yeah it's twenty to nine look at the tan it's pretty it's pretty solid under the week oh that looks good <laughs> it's actually the side that tans more because that's where you hold the bike handlebars oh yeah you know if you just compare like the inside of mine here's my sleeve and there's Josh's. <laughs> <laughs> Sat outside a place called Burger and Tacos. Best of Burger and Tacos. Best of. But instead of getting a burger or tacos, I've gone for a kebab. And I don't even know what it is. Like it doesn't se it doesn't specify the meat. It doesn't specify like is it a sheesh, is it a donut? Like I have no clue. I've no clue. I just went for kebab. <laughs> Literally said kebab, so yeah, I got that. Josh got a burger and it's absolutely sweltering out here. I'm not usually one to complain about the heat, but I am so hot. <laughs> now I know how Grant feels. Grant's yeah. always like uncomfortably hot and that's me. Like I've even, I've taken my top off. You're running hot. I'm running very hot, <laughs> I actually am. The food has arrived. Ooh. <laughs> this is my kebab. Wow, it's heavy. <laughs> I'm gonna burn myself. Kebab, the current humidity is, is it 70%? Yeah. Thank you. Right now. now, how do I pronounce his name? Is it Ilian? Ilian. Yeah, Ilian. Shout out Ilian, who I just received a DM from, who said, hey, I just saw you running on the Promenade des Anglais tonight while I was running too. Hope you're enjoying my city. And just so you know, you've got a French community supporting you. Good luck for your next races. And this is why I love you all. Honestly, love you all. But yeah, if Ilya is watching this video, you would have probably seen me dying in that <laughs> run. <laughs> so I've had better runs, but anyway, cheers to, oh, it's so hot, I can't even. I know, right? The chips are so hot as well. Literally boiling. I can't, I literally can't. <laughs> we were just having a conversation about hot food earlier, weren't we? I need to like, how am I gonna Call do it. this? <laughs> I have no chill though. I'm about to burn myself. Let's go in. It looks good. Is it chicken kebab? Yeah, banging. It's kind of like a shawarma. Oh, nice. Are we happy? Yeah, I know. 
hung this one and came back. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so two days has passed since I last picked up the camera. We are at the airport. It's just hilarious that Josh is wearing this bag. I'm wearing that bag. And then obviously we've got a bike each and a suitcase. Just in case people didn't know. Just I, in case they yeah, didn't know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, but I kind of forgot to end this video. It's, um, it's two days later. We've swum, we've cycled, we've run a lot <laughs> since I last picked up the camera. Today, this morning, we actually did 24K. Yeah, the run was hot. The run was hot this morning, yeah. It was hot. Yeah, we, it was hot, but we did 24K along the Iron Man run course. Yeah, uh, 450 back, pace. 450 average decent, pace, very yeah. Decent. We did like a little build, a little progression. Yeah, overall though, very, very happy that the body's feeling yeah, yeah. good, good condition yeah. after how much volume we've, we've done. Big volume weekend, yeah. yeah. Mm. So overall, it's been a very successful weekend. Yeah, really, yeah, really successful. Like we, we ticked every box we wanted to. We did the bike course, we did the run course, we did the swim course. Yeah. And like I did say to Josh just now in the Uber that there's pros and cons to, yeah. to doing it because I now know what's to come and I'm not gonna lie and say that the bike course is now a walk in the park after the tap because it absolutely isn't. No. Absolutely isn't. I'm gonna struggle. I'm tougher than what I'm gonna go through. Absolutely. That's it. Um, thank you so much for coming to Nice and doing this with me. I really appreciate it. It's been a great weekend. It was really, really good, yeah. Really and um, make sure you go and follow Josh, Ironman.Josh, on Instagram. Nailed it. Give Josh a thumbs up for being a great coach. Give me a thumbs up for hanging in there. He did. He definitely hung in there, yeah. Stay nice to you, my friends. Yeah. Do you mind filming for me for a no. second? I just want to tell them that I've been, I've been losing my mind. Yeah. I have a shot every time I've said that my yeah. feet stink. So thanks again, because I know you're not gonna. What's the word? Disappoint me? Because I know. Take two. Because I know you won't just. No, let me down. Yeah. Cause, take three. Because I know you won't let me down. Comment Mochi if you made it this far.